Hi everyone, this video shows you how to use DS9. This first website in the assignment brings you to here and you click download and you choose your operating system. So download it, install it, then the next website is here. That's where we're going to get the images. Retrieve from box has POS1 red. So that's what you want. Um, if you click one of these, it'll, it'll bring up this instruction about what a valid format is for, um, for the part of the sky you choose. So don't use these numbers, use some other numbers, but use the same formatting like hours, minutes, seconds. And then um, the D means degrees, arc minutes, arc seconds for the declination. So that's how you write the aria in deck. And they're here. I've renamed them with fits extensions as it said. So now um, with the S9 installed I can open Okay, I opened the first one and it looks alright. There's the discussion about the scale, so I can push scale and then try different kinds of scales. It looks a little washed out. This really emphasizes the stars and puts black everywhere else. So you can right click or you can push on a Mac command and click and that lets you to change the level that the black and white corresponds to in, in numbers. So you can see this fainter star is starting to come out as I go to this side. But it also doesn't look great. Um, looks very grainy. So you can drag up the screen and then that changes the contrast. The next thing the assignment says to do is add another frame. So you can see here that we're working with pos.fits in this frame. And it's called frame one here. But if I add another frame, it changes to frame two. And I can open a new file. File. I'll open that HST one. So now I can uh, toggle between the two frames. Um, if I go back and forth, oh, they're not lined up. Can't tell what stars are moving because they're all moving. Frame, match, frame, old coordinate system. All right, so it turned it a little bit. And then when I toggle back and forth, ah, they're both both looking about the same. So I don't see anything really obvious moving around here. Um, I can mount a little bit and do the frame matching again. Um, let's try the blink. Whoop! Here's one. It's definitely moving. If I, if I look at other stars, they just kind of stay the same to within a few pixels. But this one's really cruising. Select edit region. Circle. Okay, great. So I'm going to come over here and draw a little circle on it. Here and I'm, I can drag it around. Let's make this a little smaller. Ah, yeah, now I'm right on top of that star. So I can go on the star and write down the RA in deck. It's a kind of funny format with colons, but it just means hours, minutes, arc seconds for RA, and degrees, arc minutes, arc seconds for deck. A toggle to the other frame. Oh yeah, and to do the linking now that I've moved around. Match, frame, world coordinate system. Now I should be able to toggle back and forth. Okay, great. So, so I'm going to change the contrast again. Oh yeah, that makes it really clear. Most of the flux is on this one pixel. So I can locate the star even better. Um, another thing I can do is just double click the circle that's centered really well on the star and read off its RA index. 